Hello everybody and welcome to 7 Sensational Girls. I have no makeup on because I've just got in from a job and I just took it off because when your skin's, you know, your makeup's been on for over 10 hours, you want it off. But today's theme is either picnic or a pack with me. So it's kind of not a pack with me, but I'm showing you what I pack to take on a set or when I do a client. If you didn't know, I am a qualified makeup artist. I have a level two in beautiful, yeah, blah, blah, blah. level two in beauty therapy. I have a level three in theatrical, special effects, hair and media makeup. And I'm going on to a three year degree in September in media makeup. So I am a licensed artist and I am qualified. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna have to kneel. My kitchen's a mess, but real things. So this, is the kit bag um you can get it from my kit company there is a lot of places that do kit bags so yeah i have let's pick it up <laughs> this whole section isn't actually normally like this i have a brush belt but these brushes need to get cleaned for my next job because i clean them after every job or every claim so these are just reminding me that i need to get them clean but normally i have a my palettes in here but i've just got these here out of the way but I have brushes, blenders, spoolies for the eyebrows and lashes. I have cotton buds, everything what you need. And then in the big section, which you can't really see, I have brushes, I have special effects stuff, and palettes. And then I have two little pockets. So I have one for lipstick and eyes, and then one for base. So I'm going to show you as quick as i can what is in them so this isn't what i always take this kind of depends on the client or what job i'm doing so the products aren't always the same but in the compartment in my first compartment i have lips and eyes because i find this stuff gets lost pretty quick so i have a color changing lipstick so it matches the undertone of a client so for me this lipstick is quite purpley tone because of my undertone but i find it's brilliant to do a nude on i always have like a red liner this is from meron it's safe in the eyes and on the lips and then i have a revolution dark red lipstick I always have a few nudes on me because a lot of people like nudes. This is the new skin, new colour power lip fluid thing. I always have a Carmex for clients just to put on the lips or to mix with a pigment to make a gloss for the eyes or on the lips. Um, I have a white eyeliner. This is safe to go on the eyes and the lips and I use it to sketch out things on the face. I have a dark blue lipstick now. I use this very rarely. I use it on more extravagant looks, but I like to keep it in there. A lip gloss is like the best thing. This is just a clear lip gloss from Meron, so I can use it on the top of things. And you never know when you need a gloss. And now summer's coming. So I have a Ben Nye mascara. I have multiple different ones. I do not use the same ones on a client. I have a Jordana Brow Powder Duo. What else do I have in here? Okay. So I have a Too Faced Nude Lip Injection for gloss. I have a Jeffree Star The Gloss. This actually is mine. I will not use my Jeffree products on clients. I need to buy some for clients. But it's just in there because I had it in there. I have another nude lipstick from Makeup Revolution. I have a Bleach London Black Lip Pencil. I have another Jeffree Gloss, which is what I use. And they are bloody brilliant. Like, oh, it is just to die for. I have a Lacura um, Amethyst eyeshadow. So it's like a liquid eyeshadow. It's not brilliant, but... So I have some nude lip liners. I have a, another, is this black? Red liner. I have a pen. This is a lash pen, so if I need to do face charts on the run. I have a gold mascara. Oh my God, I feel like this is never ending. I have a, another red lip liner. I have a dark purple lipstick from Revolution for more of my vampy looks. 
I think the most important thing to have as a makeup artist is to wash your hands. And I always have antibacterial hand gel. This is a pocket back from Bath and Body Works. It's Snow Kiss Citrus. Keep your hands clean. You are touching someone's face. Do not be a minger. And then the last three things that I have in here is my black lipstick, another mascara and a Chanel um, Ombre Premier something like liquid eyeshadow. It's in Terre Brule 806. So in the next big pocket, which is this one, this is 90% face products. So the first thing I have is some gum. Like the hand gel, you do not want bad breath. You are touching someone's face. You are up close, chewing gum on them. Um, I don't have two contacts. These are actually for when I do more of the gory zombie looks. So I just keep these in here with some solution because, bro, you never know. Now, everything in this is my skin tone currently because I've just done I'm quite a pale skin tone because I've done a client... I've done a few clients who are pale, but I have a foundation stick, I have, mm, I have some cushions, these are green and yellow colour correctors. I, I always take my a Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, these are bloody brilliant, I love them, um, to cut a crease and to set. And then I'll have a couple of concealers in different tones for that skin. So I have some ones in CO3, CO5 and CO and then I have another foundation in there depending on the skin tone. So sometimes on a set I'm needing to do hair. So I normally have bobby pins and bobby grips but they're upstairs. These are the brushes that I will take. So I have a pro tip comb. <coughs> I've just got some chewing gum in it, it's so strong. I have a brush that has a bit of fluff on it. And then I'll have some more brushes. Because I need them. Where am I going? Okay. So the next bits I have are palettes and bits for the face. Um, as a makeup artist, I'd rather have a palette what ranges from multiple shades than just one. Um, so I have a Makeup Revolution blush palette, which can be used as a bronzer, blush, highlight for different skin. It looks like that. That one's hit pan. I have a Technic Mega Blusher because it has different shades for different skin. I have a pressed powder. Um, this is a BH Cosmetics powder in translucent so it's okay for most skin um this isn't a ben nye powder it is a bronzer and i had to put it in the in a ben nye pot because it smashed well it's a loose bronzer and i lost the component i have the butter bronzer from physicians formula this one i use more on my paler clients i have a loose powder from ben nye um this is to set the face and it's just gone over me I have a Revolution Skin Kiss. And then the RCMA No Colour Powder. So to prime and set the face, I normally use the Hy Hyaluronic Fix Spray from Makeup Revolution. And then I set the face with an extra hold makeup fixing spray. And this I also use as a primer. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to get all the palettes which I take to a set or a client. Oh, so I have another blusher. It's a Technic blusher. I rarely use it, but it's in there. You never really know what looks you're going to be needing to do, so I like to take a range of palettes. So I have the NYX Ultimate Brights Shadow Palette, which I will always pack in my kit. This is a Ben Nye foundation palette because you never know last minute if someone's skin tone's darker. So it just has a range of shades you never know if you're going to need. I have a very battered Jeffree Star Beauty Killer. It has seen better days. But it is very well used, very well loved. Um, it blends like a dream. 
I take a very battered Surf Revolution palette. Um, again, as you can tell, very, very well loved, very well used. And I like to think, as me as a makeup artist, I don't care how expensive or cheap a product is as long as they work. So I have an EYN Bright Mattes palette from Beauty Bay. Looks like that. It's brilliant. I have an Anastasia Contour Kit, which I use. I need to get a new sleek contour kit, but I always have a cream contour kit because you never know. Oh, and I have a back combing brush. I always forget to take that. So I always take an airbrush gun. I don't have a compress on me yet. But I like to take my gun. You can take it apart. It needs cleaning, but I just thought I'd show you it. So yeah, it's my airbrush gun. I do it for foundations. I use it to do a lot of things. I actually think mine's just broke. Oh my god. Oh, that is not good. But yeah, I have an airbrush gun. And now the special effects side. I am qualified in special effects and I do that mainly. So I take quite a bit of my special effects stuff I pack it. I uh, normally pack a spirit gum remover, but I haven't. <laughs> but I will always take liquid latex. These are like the basic things. You do wounds with them, aging with them. Pretty much everything you can do is in liquid latex, even though it smells like fucking fish. I will always take three types of blood. Three types of blood is the most important. These are really battered. These have been used. Um, I have some fresh scab from Ben Nye. So if I sh show you what it looks like, this is what you'd put inside a wound or a scab, like a scab blood. I have a Meron co coagulated blood gel. So if I show you, it's really, really sticky. I love using this to make scabs with again. And then I have dark blood. This is for, this is liquid blood. So I don't have anything to stick in it, but like you pour it and it's gonna come out. So, oh, see, like that. So you pour it and it'll be there. <laughs> This spirit gum is old, but I cannot remember where my new spirit gum is. But I have some spirit gum. It is dirty. It's grim. I need some new. And then I have some Sin Wax, which is like this. That's to make scars with. And then I normally pack two bruise wheels. As you can see, that is everything I will pack in my kit and what I take on a kit. In a, depending on the job. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned for more shitty videos from me. I can't be asked.